The Mexican drug war has become a lot bloodier than most Americans understand because it's basically never covered here. Here are the facts. More than 23,000 people were murdered in Mexico just last year as drug cartels continue to fight each other and the Mexican government. Meanwhile, drugs continue to pour across the American border in massive amounts, killing tens of thousands of Americans. Now, fear of letting this chaos into our country is one of the reasons the Trump administration has called for tougher immigration laws and a border wall. Not everybody is on board, to put it mildly. We recently discussed this issue with Jorge Ramos. He's a Univision anchor and champion of the oppressed south of the border. Here it is. When last we spoke, you said that the United States has 11 million illegal immigrants within its borders because of supply and demand, and it's America's fault that these people are here. They were lured by jobs. But there's a flip side to it, which is that the remittances paid by Mexican citizens back to Mexico are the largest source of cash in Mexico, higher than its oil export revenue. That is true. So Mexico desperately needs American money sent back by illegal aliens here. Why shouldn't we blame the government of Mexico for that? Well, first of all, I don't call them illegal aliens. No human being is illegal. L let me just start Except by, the people by, who are here illegally, that. they're illegal. Uh, well, th they're here, but we don't call illegal companies those who hire them. So I don't well, use we, the term illegal. The, you, can, you can use it if, if you I, want I, it's, to, the, it's actually the legal term in U.S. government documents, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with the accurate description. But, but okay, let's get to the and point. I'll, and, I'll, and I'll go with the moral point of view that you should not call anyone <laughs> moral illegal. Point as a, as point a, of view. Except those being. who are illegal, and I'm going to go ahead and not be bullied and just call them what they okay. are. But, but the, uh, the uh, point is, look, the so government of Mexico here. couldn't exist without them. That's the point. Um, well, they do get billions of dollars from, from Mexican citizens in the United States, that is true. But the, but the point is that undocumented immigrants are here, Tucker, because of us. We need them. Uh, you might want to admit it or not, but we need them. They're, it's a, simply a matter of supply and demand. And whenever you go to right. get a service or to a hotel or to a restaurant, we are being served by them. The, the no, food no that I know you you're big on morning, lecturing Americans the, on their the, moral failings, but what about yeah, the moral the, failings of the Mexican government, which is corrupt, parts of it are controlled by the drug cartels, it doesn't serve the needs of its own people, and it hasn't for almost 100 years, and yet it's 100% America's fault and not the fault of the Mexican government, which uses illegal immigration as a pressure relief valve. That's, that's what's happening, and you know it. Yeah, I, I think you chose the wrong guest to, to defend the Mexican government because I've been criticizing the Mexican government for decades. The, I the Mexican you. government, it, it is really corrupt. In, in the last year, I was checking the numbers. More than 20,000 people have been killed because of violence in Mexico. And right. we're going to have elections in Mexico on July the 1st, and I hope that that, that changes. But I'm, I'm no one to defend the Mexican government. Um, there's a lack of democracy. There's a lack of transparency. There's a lot of corruption. Uh, there's really nothing to defend about the pres President well, Peña Nieto. But in effect, you are, because you're saying that our illegal immigration problems are our fault, when in fact, abetting illegal immigration is the policy of the Mexican government. No, the single largest source of heroin in the United States is Mexico. The leading cause of death for people under 50 is heroin OD. So why shouldn't we be angry at the government of Mexico for allowing this to happen here? Well, because there's a different way of seeing that. Uh, you are seeing it as Mexico is responsible for the drugs coming to this country. And yes. the way people in Mexico and the way people in Colombia and in other Latin American countries, the way they see it is that as long as you have 20 to 25 million Americans who use continuously illegal drugs, there's again a problem of supply and demand. And it doesn't matter what you do oh. at the border, it doesn't matter if you have a, a huge wall, drugs are going to keep on coming. So, it's, so that's what so, the drug so dealer tells himself to so sleep at night. He says it's not my fault, it's that. the junkie's fault. Right. So if you flood a community with illegal drugs, do you think drug use and ODs go up? I mean, that's a rhetorical well, question because the answer is, of course, yes. So well, why, I mean, why that's blame that's the victim here? I don't understand. Well, no, it's not the way to see it. That's one way of seeing it. truth. Tucker, if you have 20 or 25 million Americans, Americans who've used an illegal drug in the past, in the last month, what are you going to do? I mean, unless if, if, you change really, Jorge, the if, 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 nothing's going to change. Because if I dropped a ton of heroin into your zip code, do you mm -hmm. think you would see a higher rate of heroin addiction? And do you think but, that but would be the fault you of your it. children it, and your neighbors? No, it would but, be but my not, fault. It is not only that you drop it. The fact is that people are asking for that. 
um, illegal drug uh, users yeah, in the United States. Yeah, 15-year-olds are desperate for, for cheap heroin. Um, yeah. No, I mean, look, well, let's be honest. Not building a wall is not making the problem better. People are dying well, as a help. result of it. No, oh, the, the wall the won't wall, help. The, the wall really? it, it would be completely useless. How do Absolutely. you know that? It, so it let's be, take a well, look at walls because, through history. How many have been let, completely let you, useless? Let's see, none. Let, let, me, let me give you just a, a few arguments here. Okay. Uh, according to Pew Research Center, almost 45% of all undocumented immigrants come by plane or with a visa. So it doesn't matter how long or wide almost your wall how many, be. What, what percent? Almost, almost 45%. You can oh. check it. It's, so what about, it, no, 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 I think, I think that number's right. I think that number's right. But there's yeah. still half a million people, more than, apprehended at the border every year on foot. That doesn't account for all the people who made it across. You have hundreds of thousands of people coming, some unknown number, coming across with no, no. wall, and you have tons and tons of drugs. So why is it immoral to try and stop that? Because the, the idea that you are giving your audience and the idea that President Trump is, is giving the American people is that we are being invaded by Mexico. That is not true. More Mexicans actually are leaving the United States than I'm coming to I'm not saying country. we're being invaded. I'm saying tons of drugs and there's hundreds no of thousands of people are... Co- I'm not saying there is. No, I'm saying there's no invasion. tons of heroin and hundreds of thousands of people are coming across and they, many of them would be stopped by the wall. So why is it immoral to put a lock on our front door? I don't understand. No, I why why every, should every, we be scolded for wanting to protect our own country? I don't get that. I, I, I agree with you. Every single country has the right to secure borders. I have no problem. I have no problem with that. But you're but arguing against that the, the wall. wall. That the wall that President Trump wants to build and that apparently you're supporting would be completely useless. First of all, there's no invasion coming from Mexico. Second, it's not true that hundreds of thousands of people are coming to this country because the undocumented population DHS has says. remained sta- the undocumented population has remained stable in this country for the last decade and and third mexico of course won't well, pay for that for, first of all we don't really know what the undocumented so-called oh, population oh, is because they're here illegally no 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 actually, no, no, we, no, no, no as a factual you, matter no, we but don't it's true we do the, okay. the census bureau but look, the government the point is you've got uh, 11, everybody knows that okay. you've got 11, about million, 11 million at million. least could be 20 we don't know but there are more than 10 million people million. here illegally they're okay. here illegally 11 million we'll yes. say 11 million those million, yeah. people are living proof that we don't have control of our border. And I hope that you'll just sum it up for me in one sentence because we're running out of time. Why is it a bad idea to build a wall to stop some percentage of those people, some percentage of the heroin, when every other wall in every other country on planet Earth has had an effect in stopping people and drugs from getting into the country it separates? I don't understand. Be- because it's a myth to believe that the border right now is more insecure. It's, it's a myth. And then, as, again, as long as you have millions of consumers of illegal drugs in this country, drugs are going to keep on coming from ports of entry or through tunnels. That's on one hand. Let's just build and the wall the other, and we'll and, and see. And we can end, come back and kind of assess its effectiveness three years anything if you come by plane, Trucker. Okay, that's, that's great. All right, thank you uh, for joining thank us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks.